think that's better than my cow sound. <laughs> I'm bringing another enclosure. I've been working on this one. Actually, I only spent two hours on this one, and I think it came out pretty cool. It's a, if you couldn't guess it from the opening, a cat enclosure. Well, it's not really cats. They're large cats. There's jaguars and panthers and mountain lions and a tiger. They're all in one. We're out of space. Here is the latest enclosure I've been working on, and we do have multiple cats in here because we've run out of space. They're all sharing this one small habitat together. They do have a nice little cave area. You can see the jaguar on top. He's got some fun up top and some chickens running around. There's all kinds of stuff going on in here. And I did create this one a little bit different. It is supposed to be kind of dystopian, so you can see that the walls are, there's some brick, but there's also some wood on top of it because the brick has been decaying. And so they're adding onto it the best they can. Uh, I did add a, another opening on this side. So in this case, if the visitors can get to the sides, there's windows on this side, there's windows on the back and just the main opening there where you can look in and see what's going on in this lovely enclosure. We're looking in the kitty enclosure here. I keep calling them kitties, but they're actually wild cats. I wouldn't want to pet them. Although, you may spy one real kitty in here. But I have the tiger coming out of the cave, and it was a fun enclosure to build. And again, it's different than every other enclosure I've built. They're all suited to pictures I've seen on the internet for these type of enclosures at zoos. Everything I've looked up so far, I look at and find something online and say, okay, this is what the habitat looks like, so I'll make something similar. We have some nice shade coverage here with the palm trees, and then some little bamboo in the corner, as well as some more rock where the tigers and cats and whatever's in here can climb up as well. Here is my favorite part of this enclosure, which is this rock formation here. I tried to build it, again, based off a picture I had seen of a tiger enclosure, and it kind of reminds me of the latest idea set, the Flintstones, where they have the, the floating slab roof. A little reminds you a little bit about that, and it is locked into place, so it's not going to fall off the top. And it does have a, make a spot for the tiger to go inside and hide from visitors if he's tired, or just to get out of the sun. Up top we have the jaguar, as well as some um, chickens, and a golden frog is hanging out over there for some reason. We have a mountain lion heading towards the corner here, and why is he heading towards the corner? Because for some reason Ron Weasley decided to show up, and it looks like he's focused on this spider on the ground. And you might want to look a little bit to his left and pay more attention to the lion that's coming his way looking for a hungry, or looks like he's hungry and wants a snack. Here's that kitty I mentioned. He feels right at home with these large cats. I think he feels protected in here and probably going to hang out for a while and also look for some food. Looking in on this side of the exhibit, we can see Ron there again and he's focused on that spider. But this is just another spot where visitors can come and look inside and get a close-up view of the animals as they come by the window. Lots of places to view the cats in here since there's four cats in this small enclosure for to give you more opportunities to see them. Time to feed the kitties. I forgot, they need fish in there. They're hungry and this is the perfect snack for them. So this was a really fun enclosure to build. I'm still playing with it and still adding stuff as I'm filming over here because I can't help myself. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and tell me what else you want to see in the zoo. We have some really cool stuff coming up soon. You're going to see the entire zoo and it's really cool. It will be revealed at Philly Brickfest in late April and you will see the zoo in its entirety and some really cool stuff coming up on this thing. It's my largest build to date. Really excited about it and I'm really excited to show you. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter at Built From Bricks as well as our monthly live stream which is on the third Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today. I think that's better than my cow sound. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep them. I'm just going to have a whole bunch of outtakes of you laughing at your own jokes. <laughs> yeah, you like that. You like to do that, I noticed.